Prince Harry wiping away tears as he honors his grandmother Queen Elizabeth. This is a family um, in mourning now and um, of course the Queen was a mother, a grandmother and a great grandmother. On Wednesday, the Duke of Sussex walked the streets of London with his brother, Prince William his father, King Charles, and his three siblings, to bring the late monarch's coffin from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. Her Majesty the Queen approved all plans for her service with Charles in advance. Neither Meghan nor Kate walked the route along with the family. Princess Anne was the only female allowed, which is actually a sign of how the late Queen has moved things forward for women. Once inside, the brothers' wives, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle were by their side for the service. When his grandmother's coffin arrived at the hall, Harry couldn't hold back tears. Meghan then showed support, holding her husband's hand as they exited the service behind William and Kate. Harry and Meghan have been estranged from the family since their decision to step down as senior royals. But in the wake of the Queen's death, they've come back together. First with Harry, making a trip to Balmoral Castle in Scotland alone. After hearing of his grandmother's declining health, he didn't make it in time to see her before she died. And shortly after Meghan and Harry were invited by William to join him and Kate to greet mourners outside of Windsor Castle. This is the first time they have been together um, really since the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral nearly 18 months ago. I suppose everyone will be, will be hoping that there can be some sort of a reconciliation. It's just a tragedy that it comes across the Queen's deathbed. The rift between William and Harry is a rift that has run deep, which has ripped apart the Windsor family, caused the Queen great sadness. Um, will there be a reconciliation? I think at the moment it's difficult to tell.